Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creation. So I have a collaborative haul today, and as I go through them, I'll kind of show you or tell you where I got some of these. Some of these are Black Friday deals. Some of these deals were going on before Black Friday started, and some of them are even Cyber Monday deals. And some are online, some are store-bought. So I'll go through, as I go through them, I'll tell you where I got some of the different items that I picked up, and I'm super excited to get craft with. Now the first one things I'm going to show you I got at Joann's and I bought some ornaments like this last year but they were a little bit different. They were kind of like longer and taller to where they looked more like a tag and I think these look kind of more like the outline of a house um, but they're metal. I really like how they're made. I love the shadow box effect that you have with these where you can kind of add a little something to the ledge and I love ornaments like this that, you know, you can do so many different things with. So, hopefully this year before Christmas, I'll be able to do something with these just to kind of give you some ideas. I know that the wire is kind of running down now because a lot of us like to have that stuff made ahead of time. Um, so, I hate to even put out some uh, this late, but I will do a couple more. And these were $3.99. I think I got these as a door buster deal, so they were like 70% off. Um, and they're doing a lot of different Christmas stuff like that now, so be on the lookout for some of these great deals. I also went ahead and picked up some of their... Um, black uh, gingham check ribbon it's 3.99 but it was 70 percent off as well um hobby lobbies is a dollar 99 so 50 percent off it's usually a dollar a roll i haven't went back to see if they're the same amount on each roll but you know depending on which store you have closest to you you know hobby lobby puts their ribbon on sale like every other week so I also picked up some of these little uh, handmade holiday bells. These were $9.99. These were 50% off when I bought them. I almost didn't get them, but I saw how cute these little snowman bells were. And there is only six in a pack, so they're a little, you know, less than a dollar a piece at that rate. But I really loved them, and I thought that I would just stick them on something super special this year. Um... You know, for, you know, not really a, a gift that I would even sell in a craft fair because I wouldn't get my money back out of that for sure. These are just some little um, brown bells. I love the shape of these. These were a lot less expensive, um, but they were 50% off as well. And then I picked up these really cute um, craft um pom-poms and they kind of look like peppermint candies. I absolutely love them. I saw Craft Purge do a video using these uh, right after I got them. So this is kind of a late um, sharing of this video. I'm pretty sure this was at least a week before uh, or the week before um, all the holiday shopping, but I really like these. I can't wait to use them in something. They're super cute. And then I also picked up a, one more little wood sign that they had. These were like $1.99 regular price. Um, it says Old Fashioned Sleigh Rides. You can paint this. You can stain it. You can add it to a little, um, you know, just anything that you're going to do, like a little craft, you know, something, something on. I love redoing some of the signs that the Dollar Tree has. And I thought adding this to one of those would be really super cute. And I love the, the script that's on it and how they mix the fonts and everything. So I just love it. Love, love, love it. I end up picking up a bunch of those every year. And some from last year aren't back again. And then I did pick up some of this Fab Lab fur. I absolutely love how soft this fur is. And it is so pretty, the colors of this. Um, I've got an idea of using this on a couple of ornaments that I have. And I picked up the brownish color. It's kind of like a brownish white. And then the other one is kind of like a, a grayish white. And, you know, I can say that just petting these is a lot of fun. Now, this has kind of like the same backing that the other faux fur does that I've used for the gnomes and you do it the same way. You don't want to cut this with scissors. You kind of want to take a craft knife and go to the back of that so that you don't ruin the actual um, fur part, you know, where the fur will rip out and leave yourself a bare spot. 
but I absolutely love those. And what prompted me to even kind of look for those is this um, faux fur that's in a beautiful red color was half off. So this was only $2. I got a couple of the red. I thought even if I didn't um, use all of this for Christmas, that using this on Valentine's Day and maybe cutting this in a shape of a heart would be, you know, a really cute idea. So we'll see. I went ahead and got the red just because it was pretty well dirt cheap. And if nothing else, I might just set it around where I'm at and, and pet on it. It's so soft. They did have some of these little mason jars, kind of similar to what the Dollar Tree has, but all theirs are upside down. So I bought these because they were they were right side up. They already have the hanging element on them. I thought this would be fun to put little gifts in or add something in them, you know, where they hang right side up. And I thought they would be fun. These were $2.99 regular price, but all their um, ornaments, I believe, were 60% off when I got this one. So I really thought these were super cute. I ended up going ahead and picking up about four of those. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm, I'll share it with you when I, when I do decide to um, fill those up with some goodies or something. I also picked up a couple of little folk art paints in the garnet red and the emerald green. These are really pretty. They have this real pretty shimmer to them. These would look good inside the little ornaments. You know how you can kind of just put your acrylic paint in, swirl it around, um, let it hang upside down to drip out. Um, but these were really pretty colors and I really like the shine in those. And then I went ahead and picked up some of these Tim Holtz scissors. Um, I have a pair of these in the red, um, but these are the uh, titanium snips and I absolutely love them. They're good for even like cutting metal and different things. And of course, as a crafter, you know, it's always great to have extra pair of scissors like that on hand. And they were on sale. And then I picked up this out of their uh, little baking department. It's this really large Wilton spatula. It has little candies on there, which I thought would be great for using if you um, made a little pan full of candies like that. But I thought this would even be great for cookies. So I got one of those. I believe those were at least 50% off. And then I picked up a little Wilton texture mat set. The back one looks kind of like rock work like you can see on the castle. And then the other one is a wood um, look, you know, like wood planks. And they've used that on the door. And I thought that I would use this with polymer clay or even resin. I'm not gonna use this for cooking. And then in their planner section, I was looking for some of those um, little sheets where you can um, redo your planner cover. And I didn't see any of those, but I did pick up some of these little extra sheets that can go in my little notebooks. I love using those as um, little notebooks as well because I love being able to tear out the sheet and write on it and put it back, especially if I want to write on the back. I'm right-handed, so it's always a pain. I always end up running into the middle part of a notebook, so I do really like those. I've, I've ended up picking up quite a few of those up. And then I also picked out this foil quill mat. I I love this. I think that um, I watched Sugar Shine Designs do a video while I was in um, Joann's because they have this stuff on sale, and I'm like, mm, do I really need it? Um, I did just buy the foil quill set off of eBay for $49.99 for this set of three, which was cheaper than what Home Shopping had it for a couple months back. I ordered it as a today special, and it got back ordered somehow. I wanted the... Um, Every three months you get something new, so I canceled the original order I had and put in the new one, and somehow I ended up canceling that order. I, maybe I got bitter because <laughs> I didn't get it, but um, I was like, well, I'm going to look for them. Um, they're the freestyle pens, not the ones that go in your machines. Um, this goes in your machine, but I would get, um, like Sugar Shine Designs mentioned, using a dedicated craft mat for this to go ahead and stick it to, but it looks like it works out really well, and I have an old mat. I might just spray a little bit of adhesive spray on it and stick it to that one, and then I'll have just kind of a dedicated mat to use my little foil quills with. It comes with four magnets, two shorter ones and two longer ones. 
and they kind of will hold your project down and hold that foil taunt as it goes through your machine. If I think about it, I'll try to link her video up in the iCards above. And if I don't do that, let me know and I'll go back and do it. But I think it'll make everything just a lot easier by using a dedicated mat. All right, the next um, things I'm gonna show you, I got these from Tuesday morning. I picked up some of these Aqua Blend by Spectrum Noir. It's a 24 set of pencils. I also picked up some of these from Arteza. So one or the other I'm gonna give as a gift um, to one of my daughter's friends who loves to do some different um, artwork. But I thought this was a really good deal for these. They're $19.99. For this set of 24 and of course spectrum noir is a really good brand and this is um, a pretty good discount on what these normally run and i got the primaries and the essentials so the essentials kind of make me think of uh, face tones or, or um, skin tones and hair and then the other ones are just the um, your normal everyday colors but I thought that was a pretty good deal on those, so I picked those up. And then, I love Tuesday morning. They have all kinds of great things that you can pick up, but I saw these little beadsmith pliers, and it's just one of those tools that I already have some, but for the price, I thought I'd go ahead and pick up another set of the pliers. I can always use them with my jewelry. I picked up a little phone stand. It's like a little grip, like a pop socket in a sense. Um, but this pulls out and can set your phone up. And my plan was to get a new uh, phone case. And I thought, well, let me go ahead and get another pop socket to, to go with it. And this was up at the front, but it had that glitter in it. And I, I just absolutely love that. I also picked up some of these Spectrum Noir metallic pencils. These were $7.49. Um, I love using like metallic pencils on stamped images to kind of highlight and some of the colors in this was so pretty. The pink and the rose gold. Oh, I just love those. Uh, the violet and the purple are really pretty. But I love using these, like I say, to add highlights to stamped images. Even if you're not using colored pencils sometimes. So hopefully I'll be able to show you something like that in the future. And then I did pick up some of the Spectrum Noir metallic markers. This is actually the second set that I've bought I was gonna um, put these in with a set that I give my daughter for Christmas. These were $9.99. I love seeing, um, she uses sometimes the little, um, I can't think of what kind of pens they are, but some of them leave like a raised impression, like it's embossed. Some are sparkly and shiny. And she has colored images in her coloring books before with those, and they just look so beautiful. I love the way it adds something to it, and I thought those would be a lot of fun to add to it as well. And then next, I'm going to do the Target Dollar Spot. I got this color changing mug, and when you pour something warm in it, it says fa la 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 all the way across. And I really just love the mug itself with the cute little candy canes and their little hearts. They had one other one that I really liked too, but it was chipped. Um, but I really like that. Kind of reminds me of one of those sweater type prints. And then I also picked up a couple of these little wooden ornaments. I wish they would leave the glitter off of the edge of these. Um, but I absolutely love these little wood ornaments that they always put in the Target dollar spot. I didn't think that I had any of this type of like tree look to them. So I just got a couple. Um, but they're only a dollar. I absolutely love them. I've gotten hearts. I've gotten um, ones that look like Christmas lights this year. And I'm hoping to add a little something more to them. And then I picked up some of these little ones that they call um, tags that you can add to like Christmas gifts. Oh, actually, first I'm going to show you the cute little pom-poms that I got. Oh my gosh, these were so cute. Little reindeer pom-poms. There's four in them. They're a um, dollar for that little set so cute and now to the tags all these are a dollar a piece this looks like a little door i would love to change out the little tag hanging down that says mary um, and make it a little bit more sturdier 
Um, but I absolutely love this door. I think it'll be fun to add to one of the little houses from the Dollar Tree that um, kind of looks like a shadow box. This looks like a little letter. It says to Santa, um, the North Pole. This is a really nice thick ornament. So even if you wanted to change the saying on it, you know, if you bought a couple and left one as is, and you wanted to change the saying, it would be a great piece. Um, this says made with love, Mrs. Claus Cookie Company. I love the way this one looks just by itself. This one says, Dear Santa, I'll be nice after coffee. I think this one would be fun to redo. I'd love to um, change the lit top lid part, maybe um, cut out a couple pieces of cardstock on the top, make it stand out a little more, and maybe add a different pattern paper to it. I think that would be super cute, but it's really sturdy. I love that about these. Then I also picked up this one. It says uh, 25 December. I love how that looks. Um, I think it would be fun to add just a little bit of greenery to that, just to upscale it a little bit. And then these are awesome. You get three in a pack. They were $3. This ribbon on these is much nicer, but this is like a whiteboard, and you can write something, or a dry erase board. You can write something on them if you want to. You could add anything to it that you wanted to add to them, and I absolutely love those. If I could have found more of those, I would have gotten them. They also had this set, which was the chalkboard finish. The ribbon on these is really thin. I think I will replace the ribbon on them, but I love the thickness of the, you know, the actual little boards themselves. And I think it'll be fun to upscale these, maybe add a saying in the center of them. You could write it with chalk marker on this one. And um, if you didn't like your writing, you could definitely use vinyl or stamp, you know, a saying on there. And then I did find this good old fashioned candy cane factory sign. I'm not sure that I like the pink color of this. This was, I think this one was $3. I'll probably flip it over here in just a second. Um, but I think even if you wanted to redo this, um, $3 for this is not a bad price. Yes, it was. Um, and you could repaint and do the colors in a different scheme if you wanted to change it out in a year or two. You know, if it doesn't match your style, this would be definitely easy to upscale. And that's actually it for my collective haul. I didn't want to make this too long. I have some things that I got from the Dollar Tree as well, but I'll share those in another video. If you like these type of hauls, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you click all, it notifies you every time I upload a new video. I have a great playlist of uh, Christmas ornaments this year that I termed um, Make It Merry. So I'll leave that playlist here linked at the end in case you're interested in that. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a great weekend and I hope you get a moment to craft it up. Take care.